Here we are on the December 4th instant tournament. The free instant tournament. Don't play any ones that cost money. Weekly free instant tournament. So our partners have passed hand and give them 10, 11 points at most. We have 17 high card points. A five card suit is 18. A quality suit is 19. So we have four aces and one ten and only one quack. So that brings us up to 20 starting points. But we're still going to open a diamond. Partner bid two diamonds. The robots play inverted minor. So he's showing about 12 points. 10, 11 high card points. 12 starting points. When partner supports us, we get two points for the singleton heart. We get a point for the side four card suit. So our 20 points has now grown to 23, 23 declarer points. Ops at at least 11. Gets us to 34 or 35 points with a fit. I don't think we're going to go to Grand Slam. Let's see. Um, if partner had a singleton club and the king, queen of spades, and the ace of diamonds, we might make seven. That's a perfect hand. Let's see if he had eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, 10, 11, 12. He could have that. He could have the ace of diamonds and the king, queen of spades. And a singleton club. He needs the perfect hand. I don't know, it looks like six diamonds would be reasonable. Seven diamonds is possible. I mean, what did the, the six diamonds show? Six diamonds says that's what we want to play. All right. Okay, well, we're going to lose a club. And we have a spade that we have to deal with. So we've got five diamonds, two spades, a heart, a club, and two club roughs. That's 11 tricks. Um, the best chance for a 12th trick would be a roughing finesse in hearts, where if East has the king of hearts, we lead the queen. If he covers, we rough. If he doesn't cover, we pitch a spade. And that heart trick will be our 12th trick. So we want to pull trumps and lead the queen of hearts from dummy. We don't think there's an we don't think there's a nine o heart split on this auction. So we're going to win the diamond in our hand. Okay, so I'm gonna cast the ace of hearts. There's only one trump out. We have a 5-5 five, five fit, and they both followed once. The 5-5 five, five fit, the suit can divide 5-5-3-0 five, five, or 5-5-2-1. Five, five, they both followed to the first round, so there's only one out. I don't really think I need to unblock the suit. as have a spade entry, but I'll go ahead and lead the 10 to the ace. This pulls all the trumps. And we'll try the hard finesse. Roughing finesse. Rough. Now we can see the club and we pitch a spade on the jack of hearts and everything's fine. So we're going to easily make 12 tricks. Well, easily with the finesse winning. We'll go ahead and win that one. We'll take our pitch. And now we're just going to cross rough the hand. You see it coming. I played ace of, ace of clubs and I rough those two clubs, two clubs and dummy. So I won't play it out. So that hand was based totally on counting your starting points, refiguring out your uh, declarer points, and knowing you're in a slam range. I just did it the simple way with the robot. The bid of six diamond shows 22 plus. I had what we figure 23 so it's just a systemic bid no not very difficult hand um, i see we got a very good score for that let's take a look 
and one other table bid the slam. But we're just using the Bergen hand evaluation on that hand and uh, counting our tricks at trick one, planning a play for the whole thing and planning on how to get rid of our loser. Okay, so let's look at this hand. We have 19 points and a quality five card suit, but we have 19 starting points, high card points. We lose a, we gain a point for the five card suit. Gets us to 20. We get another point for the, one for a five card suit, one for the uh, quality suit. Gets us to 21, but we lose a point for the doubleton king of diamonds, a dubious king of diamonds. We lose a point for the dubious queen of spades. So our 21 drops back to 19. I'm not even thinking about opening two no trump. I'm thinking about opening a club and reversing the two hearts. If partner bids a spade, I might bid two no trump because he'll show a four card heart set if he has it. Two no trump's more descriptive. So that's my bidding plan. We will start with uh, one club. Well, our two no trump rebid idea has gone out the window with the one spade bid on our right. We don't have a spade stopper. Two no trump here should absolutely promise a spade stopper. I could bid two spades. What does that show? I still think I'm going to bid two hearts. Two spades shows 21 high card points, 20 to 22. No. Which is going to two heart reverse. So partner bid three clubs. Now I'm going to totally discount the doubleton queen of queen of spades, but I do get a point for each of the doubletons. Not for each of the doubletons. I get a point for having two doubletons, one point for having two doubletons. So now my not counting the queen of spades, I have 17 high card points. I got to lose one for the doubleton king of diamonds. That gets me down to... 16, I do get a point for the five card suit, 17, I get a point for the quality club suit, 18, and I get a point for the two doubletons, 19, and I get a point for the side four card suit, 20. So I'm back up to 20 declarer points. Good chance that Ace of Diamonds, if we don't have it, is with East. I don't know. I think they play eleven soul, but that doesn't say it's forcing. This is, this is, this is uh, six points. Six total points isn't enough. We gotta have twenty nine. I could maybe invite game. Four clubs would invite. I think I'm gonna just pass this. Maybe four clubs would be better. Let's see what he's got. He's got six points and not a great fit. Well, there's our spade we're going to lose. All right, he should have five spades or maybe six. So Wes might be roughing this next third spade. It's not clear. We do have the... Let's see, what did he lead? Can't see. I don't know if he high load or not. It doesn't matter what a rough of the seven, I think. I was talking and not paying attention to what the first card was. It could have been a high-low. I'm not going to rough the ace anyway, so might as well. The jack, eight, seven are all equals. I guess I'll rough with the jack. I don't have an entry to dummy to take the... Yeah. Doesn't matter, rough the jack. Okay, so I can pitch one heart away on the Queen of Diamonds. I'm thinking the Heart Finesse will win. Then I want to rough two hearts in Dummy. No, one heart in Dummy. I'm going to pitch one heart away. Hoping the Heart Finesse wins. My current plan is, I'm thinking along two lines. Uh, one is to pull two rounds of Trumps, play King of Diamonds, Ace of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, Ace of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, Pitch a Heart, Heart Finesse. Hopefully that wins. Heart Ace, Heart Rough. My other thought is King of Diamonds to the Ace. 
ace, club finesse, diamond to the queen, heart finesse, try to rough two hearts and dummy. Okay, I, I'm just gonna leave. I got a rough. I got a heart losing. Anyway. I'm gonna cash ace king of ace king of clubs and play to rough a heart. After taking a pitch, the ace king of clubs gives me two advantages. One is it reduces the chance somebody's gonna rough the queen of queen of diamonds. And if the jack of diamonds falls, I can throw another heart on the. Uh, ooh, this looks bad. Oh, okay. If the jack of diamonds falls when I'm cashing the diamonds, then I can uh uh Okay, now if the jack of diamonds falls, I might make a whole bunch of tricks without without the heart finesse. So East had five spades, three clubs. We can't afford to pull that last trump yet. We still have the heart we might have to rough. One option here is to finesse the diamond. If it loses to the jack, win the ace of hearts, play a club to dummy, and dummy's good. I don't have to rough any hearts. So I could finesse it west for the jack of diamonds. I'm going to make four. If that loses, I'm going to make four. If I play the ace of diamonds, queen of diamonds, and the jack falls, I'm going to make five. Because when the jack falls, I can pull trumps with a 10 staying in dummy. And I don't even need the heart finesse. All right, I'm not going to finesse the I want to just play the ace. I'm thinking finesse the jack might be right, but I'm not going to do it. Oh, I don't even. Okay, there it is. I'm going to pull the last trump. And take two pitches. So we start off with a plan and we change it as the cards fail. No, oh, I wish I'd have been more. So we got 78%. Did anybody bid the game? One pair bid five clubs. I see how they did it. Three clubs, three space, four clubs, five clubs. So they just bid five clubs. They they invited their partner, rejected the invitation, and they bid. I think if you if you're going to go to game, just go. If you're going to invite, accept your partner's uh, decision. That's why you invite. Okay, we got eighteen. It's too good for uh, no trump. Eighteen with a good five card suit, a fair five card suit at least. So we're going to open a club. Planning on maybe rebidding two no trump. Okay, so now we have somewhat of a problem. I could jump to three hearts, but I only have three hearts. I could make a fake reverse to two diamonds, but a robot wouldn't understand it. So I'm going to bid two no trump anyway. And that's new minor forcing, I think. That doesn't show diamonds. New minor forcing. I don't have a diamond stopper, so I can't... Uh, partner's not necessarily promising diamonds, but he is promising hearts. Now, do I have a really good hand for hearts? I can show four hearts by bidding three hearts. I mean, three hearts by bidding three hearts. Three cards support. So what does everything else do? Three spade shows two hearts. No, I'm not going to bid that. Three no trump shows two hearts. I'm not going to bid that. What does four hearts show? Four hearts shows 18 to 19, um, which is what two notes have already showed 18 to 19. That's not very beneficial. What's the difference between three hearts and four? Three hearts, 18 to 19. They don't have a much of a distinction between two and three. Looks like the same, same exact thing, 22. Total points. Well, let's count our total points. We have 19 in our single doubleton spade gets us to 20. We have one, two, three aces and no tens. But we have a quack, so we get no points upgrade for that. I don't know. 
I'm going to just bid four hearts. I've got. I like my hand in support of hearts. I'm hoping four hearts is strong. It look, doesn't look like it's any difference between four hearts and three hearts. I'm going to bid four hearts. Okay, asking me for aces and key cards. I have obviously three. One, two, three. I think that's five clubs with the robots. I'm going to just check to be sure. Zero to three. <laughs> asking me for king. Is that specific kings? We have all the key cards. It's not promise extras. Well, I've got two kings. I'm going to bid six clubs. I think that shows the king of clubs. What does six art show? Okay. Well, I've bid every point in my hand, some of them twice, so I'm going to pass. Is that, let's see, five hearts, two spades is seven, the ace of diamonds is eight, and three clubs is nine, ten, eleven. So I could play to rough a spade and dummy. I could play to set up the heart suit, I mean the club suit. Even if someone roughs my second spade, oh, and if they rough second spade and return a heart, I can't rough two spades. So the two lines of play here are to pull trumps, rough a club, and play for clubs to be divided 3-3 three, three, or 4-2. The second line of play is to play ace-king of spades and rough a spade. I don't need to rough two spades. Ace King of Spades and rough a spade. I think it's the chances are better. Uh, the spade rough only needs you have, you have a four two fit in spades, so the suit could be five four two two. It would take a six one split for the spade rough in dummy not to be the right idea. So we'll we'll pull trumps. Well, we'll pull no more than two rounds of trumps. Now, nobody roughed this. Nobody roughed this. Okay, so East has got to keep spades. So we watch East for the uh, high spades. One honor was played already. Uh, the Ace King in an, in an honor, so we'll just watch for the last high honor. So we have possible squeeze chances. We'll play a diamond to the Ace, and we'll just play all our trumps out, throwing everything, all our diamonds off dummy. So somebody has the uh, King Queen of Diamonds in, in four clubs, for example. They're squeezed. If somebody has the four clubs and the high spade, they're squeezed. And there's some double squeeze possibilities, but um, if one of them has the high spade, one of them has the king, queen of diamonds, that's fairly unlikely that they have all of those. Those club discard is good. There's two club discards. So, okay, well, the clubs are going to run, so we, we could claim that. We have all the rest of the tricks. I think they let me have an extra trick there that I wasn't entitled to, but that's okay. We'll take it. Um, how many people bid the slam? A lot of people bid the slam, so bidding the slam wasn't the hard part. Making the extra trick, which wasn't deserved, by the way. I West should have just thrown away his king of diamonds and held on to four clubs. He... All right, let's look at this one. 
three passes to me. I have 15 high card points, a balanced hand, four triple three. Do I want to open a no trump? And this is a not a great four triple three. I mean, a great hand for 15 points. I got the ace king queen in a short suit. But with robots, one no trump simplifies the auctions. I'm not accepting any game tries, obviously. All right. Okay, so here the club suit can be divided 4 0, 3 1, or 2 2. Four club tricks. Three club tricks. Probably three club tricks. At least, maybe four if the suit is divides 2 2. Three hearts. And I can force a, die, a spade. Eventually they're going to find their uh, diamond suit. I wish I'd opened a club, I think, but okay, all right. We're going to play clubs, saving the 10 for last. Come on, king. All right, all clubs are good. All right, so East looks like he's short in diamonds. Can he have a singleton diamond? If West had a whole bunch of diamonds... All right, so let's say East is a doubleton jack of diamonds. If I play the queen, West wins the ace or king in the second one, and if East had the nine, the seven's still going to fall. So they're going to take all their diamond tricks now. There's not much I can do about that. What if that's a singleton jack? I could duck, and West couldn't overtake. Or if East underled the Ace King Jack of Diamonds, I have to play the Queen. So it says East have the Ace King Jack long, in which case I must play the Queen. Any other, any other holding, ducking is a uh, ducking is right. I don't think he's underleading Ace King Jack, so I'm going to play small. I could give him a switch if I play the queen, maybe. So I'm not going to throw a club off, dummy. I can throw one heart. I'll throw a spade. West had three diamonds. Diamonds three, three, two, five. So if East gets in, he's going to cash a whole bunch of diamonds. So the question is, should I, I'm going to just take my ace, queen of hearts, throw a spade away. Duck the nine of clubs. Overtake the seven of clubs. Cash the club. And give a spade. One no trump was 53%, sort of average. Not a lot more you can do, I don't think. Let's see, somebody made two no trump. A couple people went down to clubs. Okay. We know one thing, we know that robots, uh, when you play these hands with the robots, you have the best hand at the table. So partner has, at most, 14 points. Something you wouldn't know in real life bridge. Um, so I already know that I'm probably not going to slam. But I don't know where I'm going to play the contract. I think I'm going to bid two diamonds. I mean one diamond. See what partner bids. Hope he bids one no trump. Is one spade natural or is one spade new suit forcing? 
one spade is <laughs> okay so one spade denies a spade suit forcing the three nail trap which is what we like okay all right there we go partner got something in spades we have something in spades Okay, well, you got two spades only because bad duplication in spades. You have time to set up a heart trick. You have time to set up two heart tricks. Well, a heart trick if the suit's not terribly split. Um, oh, this is not going to be easy. Let's try that side. If we have five diamonds, two clubs, and two spades, that would be enough. But if we need a heart trick, in case diamonds don't split, we could be challenged. But fortunately, they haven't attacked spades yet. So we'll win this one. Because we don't want to switch to a spade, basically. So the nine that gets power to the they've got the jack ten and we've got the the nine eight so the seven that nine is going to definitely carry full weight here but it looks like uh well we're going to try diamonds that's the easiest road to to nine tricks is if diamonds run Okay, here comes this. Oh, that's good. We can set up our ninth trick in clubs. And I think we're going to, should we do that? I can win the king and return to seven. He has to win the jack. And our nine is good. And we have the spade entry over there. We have the diamond entry over here. I'm going to set up my ninth trick, I think. This hand just making might be not too, too tar horrible. No rush to cash the club because we've got the Ace of Spades re-entry and they can only take two hearts. But they've got two tricks and can always get two hearts. I'm just taking my tricks. Cash and we'll give them the two hearts at the end. Cash. Be sure to click the Ace of Diamonds. We'll claim our two diamond tricks and give them their two hearts. Well, we have 12 card, 12 high card points, a five card heart suit, which is not quality because the nine is not one of the top five honors. We lose a point for the dubious uh, queen of clubs and we have one, two, three, three quacks and two aces and tens. So this is, an, this is a very light one heart opening, but we're going to do it. Partner bit a spade. Can't rebid two hearts. I can't rebid. Well, I could rebid one no trump, but I got three. I got a double the club. So what's best? Do I bid a no trump or do I bid two hearts, two spades? Well, I don't want to encourage him. I think one no trump is more negative. Well, there you go. That solves that.
All right, well, the diamond lead certainly hasn't hurt us. I would like to rough a club, but I'm worried about a diamond rough. I could gain a trick by roughing a club. I could lose a trick. Well, I no longer need to rough the club, it's good, so I think I'll just continue spades. We had a 6-3 fit. East has already shown up with two. So when they're 6-3, they could be divided 6-3-2-2. Two, two. So this is going to pull the last trump. So when he roughed in with the diamond, he roughed with the natural trump winner. They get a heart and we're good. Okay, here we go with 13 points balanced, four triple three. Meta rule, open all 13 high card point hands. So if I open that last one, I'm definitely going to open this one. Uh, one club. Three clubs, is, they play inverted minor, that's preemptive. And we have a terrible hand, so <laughs> we're done. All right, that gives us three hearts, assuming no one can rough in. A diamond, and we can eventually get two spades. So we need to play on clubs. Let's see if we can sneak over there to nine of hearts. Oh, good. We've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So should I lead to seven? I got. Or a small one. We want to be able to stay in dummy in the future, so I'm going to put it into 10. I could put it into 6. It's as, as good as the set 10. I'll play to 10. Ooh. Well, we got three club losers. So clubs are five, four, three, one. He's got the uh, ace and queen left. He's going to get those and in the, in the, a diamond and a spade down one. And they get their spade. And we'll claim as soon as we get on lead. Rough that in both hands just to be cute, and we'll play. And here we are with the last hand of the day. And we have another 13 point hand. At least we're not four triple three. I'm only going to bid once with this hand. Normally, I wouldn't 
so I'm going to double. This is my only bid. Um, I don't plan to overcall and then bid bid again. So, so double. Let's redouble. Sixteen total points. Now well, we'll. Well, there's a no suitable call. We'll just pass. So the question is, do we want to take the push to three hearts? Mm, the partner promised five there. Probably not four hearts. So partner did not make a responsive double, which would suggest he had four hearts. So it probably has five. But let's count our hand. We get a point for the doubleton diamond. Our hearts are pretty good. But we can only get the 14 no matter what we do. Odds are they won't double us in three hearts, so that means we could go down two if they make two spades. So, will they make two spades? Let's say I get a club trick, a heart trick, and a spade trick. That's three tricks. So, partner needs three tricks. I think if he has three tricks, he'd have bid again. Okay, I'm going to bid. I'll bid. I want to pass. That's what I want to do. I'm going to pass. Well, that was disappointing. Or right, well, this won't be a good board. My thought that partner must have the king of hearts for his bid has put us behind the eight ball here. Looks like they're going to make fairly now. Got all those spade tricks. Partner must have five hearts to bid that four card suit. Oh, good hard way. Well, probably has four hearts, but. We're not going to get it. A heart trick. Maybe partner will get a diamond trick. There it is. Well, it was 46%. It's not bad. We ended up with about 73.2% in first overall. Hope you had fun.